Hey, this is Robert from Virtual Studio Set, and today I'm going to show you how to use our backgrounds in Final Cut Pro X. Uh, so I've got two examples here that you can kind of see. We've got one that's a little bit more, uh, a little simpler. Uh, we've got our talent shot on a green screen, and then one of our backgrounds, and then kind of a uh, example piece of footage in the uh, scene there. And then we have a little more advanced uh, shot here where we have. Uh, one of our studios in the background, um, we have a talent shot, but he's shot on a green screen, but with a green screen desk, and then uh, we key him out and key him over the desk, and it looks like he's sitting at the desk, just like that. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is set up a new project. So we'll do file new project, and we'll just call this one final cut example, like so. And you'll want to import your media. So you can right click in this uh, area right here and go to import media, or you can go to file, import media right there. Wait for that to come up. And then here you choose your uh, the media that you want to import. So what we're going to import is that lady right there, uh, this guy right there, uh, our Studio 12 background, and let's see, Studio 11 background, and then this little motion graphic right there. So we'll import all those files. We'll say import selected. It'll give you some options here. You can um, change them to however you need um, for your import. And then click import, and we'll process the files. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is uh, the, easy, the easier way. And so we'll start with this, uh, this background right here. Um, this is just a, a perfect uh, loop studio background. It doesn't really have a whole lot to it, but it's just got a little bit of uh, movement in the background and uh, should work pretty good. So I'm just select the area that you'd like to import in your uh, clip bin and then click and drag it down onto the timeline like so. Next, we'll do the same thing with, the, uh, with our footage here, and we'll drag it down on top of our studio background. So we've got the studio background on the bottom layer, and then we have our talent on the, uh, on the top layer right there. Next thing that we need to do is to uh, key out the green screen in our footage here. And so the way we'll do that is come over to the effects panel, go down to keying, which you see right there, and then click on keyer, and click and drag that onto your key, your uh, chroma key footage. Final Cut will kind of attempt to uh, start the keyer uh, and get the settings somewhat right for you, um, but you can also go in there and tweak them a little bit. This is a pretty decent clip, so it, it, it pops the, uh, the green out really nicely. Uh, but if you need to do some, um, uh, some fine tuning and tweaking, you can do that pretty, pretty easily as well. I'll just show you a couple of the, uh, the most common things you might want to do um, just to kind of uh, fine tune your key. So you have a sample, sample color here. So if I click on that, then I can select in my scene an example of, uh, of that green screen color, and then it will attempt to remove it from the whole scene. You can refine your edges with this tool right here. You have your strength slider right here, and so you can increase and decrease. One thing that I like to do, no matter what program I'm using, is I like to look at the, uh, the this uh, change the composite view to where you can basically see the key um, in black and white. And so that just makes it really easy to see if there's any shadows or any kind of uh, imperfections in your screen that are showing up that maybe might be kind of hard to see in this view here. You know, you can kind of hard to see some of these little specs and that kind of thing. But when you're looking at it in black and white, you can really see, oh, okay, this person is cut out, um, but we're still seeing some um, artifacting and, and stuff going on over here. And so you can adjust your, uh, your strength slider to, uh, to remove that and get your key just right. You have some other options below where you can um, uh, have sliders, so fill holes, um, spill level. If you have, if the green in the background is uh, is reflecting off of the foreground, uh, person in the foreground, like off their clothing or off their skin, you can adjust the spill level to try to decrease some of that greenness in the, uh, in the foreground scene. And same thing down here, you've got uh, uh, some map tools and some more spill suppression and that sort of thing. I won't go into it completely, but that's just kind of a, a general overview of, uh, of the keyer. And so now that we have our clip on the background, you can see, I'll just play through it a little bit. So 
you know, there we've got that lady right there. So if you want to put, uh, you can kind of see that she's motioning to, you know, a non-existent background or, you know, whatnot there. The way to add in a little piece of footage um, kind of in the top left corner there would be to take another piece of footage, drag it down onto the timeline, like so, select it, come over to transform, uh, transform the scale down a bit, and then we'll transform the position, the X position to start with. Okay, and so um, once you get that kind of dialed in, like where you want it on your scene, um, then you can, uh, you know, basically use it. What you'll notice here is that she kind of motions in front of the screen, and, uh, you know, I think it'd look better if she was on the front of the, in front of the screen instead of behind it, and that's pretty easy to do. All you got to do is uh, click and drag and drop your clip below it so that the order of your clips um, goes uh, talent, um, motion graphic, and then studio background. And now she's on top, and so when she motions in front of it, then you'll see that she's in the foreground and not behind it. Um, the other thing that you can do since, uh, since this lady is shot on a green screen and removed all the green screen, you can now um, move her around X and Y um, axis. And so if you need to move her just a little bit to the right, like I think she would look a little bit better if she was just over just a hair like that. And so that's kind of what, uh, how you get all the pieces put together in Final Cut Pro X. Um, so let me delete this out and then I'll show you a little more advanced setup with the other studio. So I'll delete those out. Um, I'm going to bring down the Studio 12 background here, drag it down onto the bottom layer. Generally your studio will almost always be the bottom layer because it is the background. Um, and then we'll have our foreground layer, which is this guy here, drag him down onto the timeline as well. What you'll see is that this footage was filmed on a green screen, but on the desk they uh, draped a green cloth that's the same color as the, uh, as the background cloth um, on the desk. And so this is a shot setup that you would use if you had a virtual um, desk in your scene. And so uh, it makes it really easy to um, add in a, a foreground desk um, from your background um, and uh, really kind of ties that, uh, that talent footage in with the studio. And so let me do uh, what I did before, which is basically just to add the, uh, the chroma key um, effect onto our chroma key footage clip. So we'll drag and drop that there. And, uh, and you'll see that it does, okay, you know, we start off uh, not too bad, but you can see a little bit more of the, uh, of the cloth down here. And, uh, and so we'll just need to uh, adjust our settings just a hair. Um, the other thing that you'll see with this particular clip, um, whereas the other clip right here um, was, uh, was full green screen all the way from edge to edge, and you know there's no issues there. Um, with this clip, um, there is, uh, you know, it's not a full green screen clip. There is, uh, you know, a light right here. There's the edge of the studio over here. And, um, but since he doesn't move around a whole bunch, he's sitting down, um, we're just going to crop uh, these elements out. So all that we've got to worry about is, you know, this area right in here, which is really with chroma king, that's what you want to do is you want to kind of eliminate all the extraneous area that you're not really concerned about and then key out just those that portion of the green screen that you need to key out and just basically disregard everything else. With that in mind, we're going to select our clip and we're going to go down. I'm actually going to turn off the key here for a second, so I'm going to um, click this button to turn off the key to toggle it on and off. So we'll turn that off, scroll down to crop, and then we will crop the left portion out a bit, and then we'll crop the right portion out, and then we'll crop the bottom, maybe about right there, and just a hair off the top, right there. And so now you can see we're only concerned with this area. We don't have to worry about if there's a shadow over here anymore because it's already cropped out. And so now I'll come back to keyer, turn the keyer back on. 
uh, toggle the, uh, the options down for the keyer. I'll go ahead and sample my color. So I'll just sample this area right in there. Like that. And then I'll come over here to the uh, composite view and the black and white so that we can see where our key is and where maybe some of the shadows are coming from. And uh, you can see down here in this bottom left corner, um, you see a little bit of shadows. So uh, what I'll do is maybe adjust some of these sliders to kind of uh, adjust for that just a hair. And so there we go. So, you know, it's not a perfect key, but it'll do for uh, just this example here. And so now we've got uh, most of the green screen keyed out. <clears throat> we've got our talent. Uh, on this, on the, on the, uh, the, the virtual desk and whatnot, uh, but you can kind of see that we've got a little bit of uh, uh, space here in between our virtual desk and the actual uh, person, and so we'll just need to position him down just a hair. So we'll come over here to the transform, and on our y-axis, we will drag him down just a hair, maybe about right there, and uh, if I play through the scene. You'll see that uh, that it really it kind of uh, kind of works with the um, um, you see it kind of really ties in the uh, the effect to have uh, a virtual desk and to have uh, uh, a green screen cloth over it, um, which really just kind of crops out that area below his legs. Um, so it really really works nicely for the uh, for the studio to bring him into the studio background. Um, one other thing that you can do to kind of tie it all together um, would be to add a bit of a reflection um, on the desk. And, uh, and you can do that by um, duplicating this clip, uh, flipping it um, vertically, and, uh, and then adjusting the, uh, the opacity, um, and maybe cropping from here up um, on, the, uh, on the scene. And that'll give you a nice little reflection. Um, so that's what I'll do next. So what I'll do is I'll copy and paste that clip. I've got it uh, set up here. We've got one clip on top. We've got a second clip. The second clip is going to be our reflection. So I'll select it, come over to scale, uh, scale uh, Y at negative 100%, which should flip our footage uh, vertically. And then I will position our talent down like right about there or so and then I will come down to crop and I'll crop the top a good bit more until I uh, kind of crop out below the desk or where the desktop starts there and then the other thing that I'll do is uh, just reduce the opacity on the reflection so it's not quite as bold. We don't want it to be too crazy. So maybe about, I don't know, usually between I would say 10 and 20 percent usually works pretty good. And uh, you can also uh, add a blur effect or, you know, something of that nature to it as well. Um, and uh, we'll make sure that their clips are linked up. And so now if I play through, you can kind of see that we've got uh, uh, the reflection going, we've got our uh, talent, he's on the desk. Um, it really ties it in with the reflection and with the, uh, with the, the, the green screen desk and everything in front of him. I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, there'll be a link in the description for the video. Um, we also sell these backgrounds, so you can use them in your own Final Cut projects or uh, whatever video editor you might happen to use. Thanks for watching and hope to hear from you soon.